Hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome into Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm Dana, aka Triple C, and the Triple C stands for Creatively Created Crochet. So come on in, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell, guys, so you know exactly when I'm bringing you another video, a tutorial, a giveaway, and even an awesome live stream such as this. Um, it is a true pleasure to have you guys in the building, and I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Um, I cannot wait to get into this topic for today. I'm actually doing a little prepping while we sit here, while we chat. For these awesome um, for these awesome streams, what I like to do is I like to let everybody come in the building. And as I let everybody come in, um, I kind of let everybody, you know, either if you want to say certain things or however it goes for your morning, and then we'll begin it with our morning prayer. And after that, we go into greeting and our topic for the day. So please come on in and let's enjoy the day. Let's enjoy our craft and let's talk about it as well together. So come on in, guys. I am is a I am so appreciative of you guys for being in the building. You guys are truly, truly amazing. We talk about sales, we talk about it all. Um, that's just one thing that we do here. We talk about it all, okay? Thank you guys for being in the building. Um, so come on in, please hit that thumbs up, guys. All right. We truly, truly appreciate that love over here. Um, yes, come on and craft. Come on in and craft. Come on in and craft. There we go. All right, guys. So if you do have the ability to share me out, please share me out. I'm trying to see why the girl is okay. I gotta figure out. I think I'm gonna be needing a new camera soon. Unless I need to clean this baby. Let me see what happens. Let's see what happens, guys. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch myself in real time. Cleaning out my camera. Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm cleaning out my camera. Let's see if it helps. I don't have I didn't bring my camera. I do have a cough somewhere. Let's go to StreamYard. Let's see what StreamYard says. Is it a little bit better? Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm looking to see if it looks any better. What is this? Oh, my chin is a bump. Bumpity bump. Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. Welcome into Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. Come on in. Let's have fun. I'm just checking to see if the camera's looking any better. I don't know. We shall see. Come on in, guys. So, I am going to be drinking my coffee in my amazing cup. It says, Yarn Glorious Yarn. Many of you got to see this cup, and for those who haven't, guess where I got it? From the beautiful Jamie at Parley Vu Crochet. Yes, not only is she selling crochet things that she's also made, she also has patterns, and she even has merch. Yes, yes, yes. So, Yarn Glorious Yarn is one of her newest um, pieces of merch that she has in her shop over on Etsy. She even has pins to go with them that you can put on to your bags or your tops, whatever else. So come on in, hit the thumbs up. I'm Dana, aka Triple C. I let everybody get in and talk and chat while I drink a little bit of coffee. Then we'll get into our prayer and we'll get into the topic of the day. I'm so glad you guys are here. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit so I can wet the whistle. Look at don't please don't mind this this bump, okay? I'm trying to lose the chance, and now I'm having something to bring bring attention to the chin. Lord, 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 help me. I'm trying to lose the chin, and there it goes with a delicious little pimple. There, oh, still, look at it. It's still there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Okay, sorry. My husband will probably be really laughing right now if he sees me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Pretty soon, I have a camera on my hands. We don't have to worry about this pesky little buddy right here. All right. Hey, everybody. Okay, let me drink some coffee. Come on. And I appreciate you guys being in the building. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your days. I hope you guys are enjoying your morning. Um, I wonder how your weekends are going to be. I'm excited. Um, oh my goodness. I'm going to have a good weekend. I need a coaster. I'm, I'm making a mug rug for a test pattern. Until then, I'll use the dish scrubby. I'm messing up my backdrop, guys, with coffee stains. Okay? So I have to get better with that. I'm going to use a dish scrubby, which it seems like it's pretty good so far for a coaster. <laughs> I'm doing a mug rug, and I can't wait. You guys are going to see some new tutorials out. Oh, my goodness. Tutorial. I'm getting, I'm getting back into my action. So, um, anyways, let me go ahead and drink some coffee, guys. I, I'm doing too much of this, right? Let me hold on. <laughs> I'm just excited about my weekend. Um, we we don't have a we don't have to work this weekend. My husband's not doing any karaoke. Um, I don't think we're we're doing any panels. I'm like 
Yay. It feels so good to just be able to relax, okay? I'm drinking some coffee. Guys, if you have uh, channels, remember, drop your links in the chat. If you're not blue, please type CC in one of our amazing moderators and drop a link, okay? So come on in. Get some family. Share us out. If you have over 1K subscribers, share us out. If you don't have over 1K subscribers, feel free to copy the link, paste it on your Facebook, paste it on your Instagrams, paste it on your Twitters. Let's share us out. Let's have a good time. Let's end our Friday um, with a great bang because this is going to be a really good day. I'm excited, and I hope you are too, okay? So come on in. Hit the thumbs up. I'm going to just have a couple more sips, guys. Give me one second. Please forgive me. I just really need this, okay? I need a little cafe, coffee. To start my morning off. A little cafe, a little java. I cannot believe I messed up this. I don't think I can fix it either. I don't think there's no coming back for these stains on my, my, my backdrop. I do have two more backdrops, and I can kind of camouflage this one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get in. I'm going to greet every, Well, I'm going to say the prayer, and I'll greet everybody, okay? Please come on in, guys. We love you. I love you all. I appreciate you all being here. Okay, let's, let's cover up this while we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just come giving you all the glory and all the honor for another day, God. I thank you for waking us all up and bringing us here together. I'm thanking you, Lord. You're so awesome. You're so good. Thank you, God. I thank you for creating us in your image to be more like you, God. And I just want to say thank you for everyone that's here in this chat, God. If anyone's dealing with anything on today, God, I know we have some family who are dealing with some loss. So we're going to ask to cover our awesome family member, Judy, God. Right now, I ask that you just give her some strength on today, God. I ask that you just help her out and hold her hand and lift her up and encourage her, Father God. Let her know that her father's in a better place, Father God, that you've given her in several years on this earth. And now it's your time to bring him on home and take care of him in eternity in heaven with you, God. I thank you. I thank you, God, for the transition, Father God. But I'm asking you to just to put a hedge of protection around Judy and her family. Give them strength right now, Father God. Help them to remember the good days, the good times. Either even be with crafting, she can make it into scrapbooking. She can make it into crocheting. Whatever she does, let her then show her father that she's missing him and she loves him, but she knows she's, he's in a better place. God, we're asking for a special prayer for a cola crystal who's dealing with the loss of her man. Father God, we just ask you to cover her and lift her up and, and wrap your arms around her. I know it's hard to lose a family member, especially one who's raised you or someone who has so much influence in your life, God. So I know, understand the pain of the same pain that um, Judy's feeling of losing a father because I lost mine. The same, the same feeling of losing a man because I lost mine. But I'm praying for some, someone right now in the mighty name of Jesus who I don't know the pain of. And as the beautiful Iris said, Iris Perez Crochet. She's lost her mother, Father God, and the services will be Monday. So I'm asking that the services run smoothly, Father God. I ask that you just cover them. I ask that you just let it run smoothly and keep the family together, Father God. We bind up every bit of um this, this dividing, Father God, uh, any type of bit of separation for all the families who are dealing with this loss right now. I ask that you just bring them together and, and, and show them love, Father God. I ask that you show them who you are so they'll be able to cry out to you in this time right now, God. They'll be able to pray to you in this time, God. I thank you for everyone in this chat, Father God. I ask that you just give us increase in love, increase in power, increase in finances, increase in um, anything that we're looking for. Father God, restore us, restore our old broken relationships, broken marriages, broken hearts. We ask that you just take away any bitterness, any sadness, any sorrow. God, just give us some strength. God, I know day-to-day -day life, it can be harder. We get obstacles, we get chest and trials, but God, help us out. God, we love you and we thank you, Lord. We we glorify you. We praise your holy name. And we just ask you to cover us with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And I ask that you let this chat run smoothly, Father God. We bind up every bit of cyberbullying, um, every bit of um, cyberbullying, every bit of spam, every bit of trolling, God. We just ask that you let it run smoothly. And I just thank you. I give you all the glory and all the honor. In your son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, wow, wow. Come on in, everybody. We got 12 in the chat. I am super excited to be here. I am Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C. Um, and you know the Triple C stands for Creatively Created Crochet. The name of my business of how many years? Six years. Going on seven, guys. When February comes, it will be seven years of having a business. Thank you, God. Um, and I make everything crochet, okay? Everything. I'm getting into um, other things soon, but crochet is my life, okay? <laughs> Hello, Dina. Good morning. How are you? I appreciate you being in the building. You are so sweet, so supportive. My beautiful niece in the building says, hey, 
family. Hello. She's like, yay, hey, family. My beautiful niece is amazing, y'all. She, yeah, she crochets. Yeah, she does. Um, and I appreciate you being here. Welcome in. I love you so much. Vivian's in that building. Hello, Vivian. Vivian got her coffee. She's got it. She's got it. Who's got their coffee, guys? I got to figure out how I want to hold this because I want to share this, but I can't drink it this way. So I got to figure out how to do it. Okay. Yep. I need to hold it. I need to have it here so I can hold it. I want to advertise this for Jamie Parley Boo, but I cannot do it. This is Parley Boo's cup, guys. Parley Boo Crochet. Okay. I see. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing. Thank you for asking how I'm doing. You are so sweet, Dina. How are you? Thank you for asking that. You always come in and ask how I'm doing. You just are a true blessing. We got Jules at Deep in the Heart of Texas. Deep in the Heart of Texas. Thank you so much for being here, Jules. I'm sorry about yesterday. I did not do my live stream. And of you, I guess you guys know that. I didn't do my live stream yesterday. I'm making me. And um, I'm sorry for those who were there waiting for me. Please forgive. Um, I will be back next week. Um, but I appreciate you all for the love, the prayers, the calls. Um, but we will be back next week, okay? I love you all. And I see CJ's in the building. Get out of here. CJ, what you get? Good morning, CJ. How are you? I appreciate you being in the building. Dina says, coffee in my cup. You got water in a second. So I like it. I need my water. I got a little bit. I like coffee and water. Do you guys like that? I have to have a little bit of coffee and a little bit of water to make it go together. Because, you know, coffee will dry you out. Especially if you have a, um, no, nothing in it, all black. That'll have you dry it out. But it will give you that energy, but it will. You gotta have some water. To... <laughs> Let me get through this chat, guys. I, you know, I get I get behind in the chat in the morning, but I'm excited to be here. And let me see, Coco say morning, folks. Hey, Coco, guys, we got some good family in the chat. Remember that if you see some badges next to these people's names, that means they're sponsors of our channel, they're memberships, they're members. And uh, sorry, guys, I can't I can't stop looking at it. Um, <laughs> um, seriously though, they're members of our channel, and uh, I hope that you can subscribe to them. Coco is one of our members as well. And I hope you guys grab her up. Okay. She's a designer as well. We got some good family. Oh, my goodness. My niece said she has some chick cereal mixed with Captain Crunch. Mm, that's not bad. That's not bad. I had to think of it for a minute. So did you have like the rice checks or the corn checks? Because there are two different ones. And I like to make the puppy child. Oh, I miss those days. Okay, sorry. Yes, and Dina saying, hey to everybody. She said, how's everybody doing? She's working on pot holder seven out of twelve. Look at there. Look at there. Yes, come on back in. I know you're probably back, Coco, by now. <laughs> I'm so behind. Thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. You said, did you eat anything good for breakfast? Ooh, look at God's girl. Let, let Joe as I, yes, let Joe as I laugh. Yes. Hey, Minister Music, if you're still in the building, we appreciate you. Minister Music, okay, I love you. We were thinking that you were going to be going live after, and I sent everybody over to Rage. Lord, 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 when we got over there, Minister Music, he was gone. Lord. <laughs> But I don't know. I, maybe you just kind of um, went up a little earlier. You might have something to do for today. But Minister Music, I was like, ooh, I want to raid Minister Music. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> Minister Music was gone. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. If you don't have each other, please grab each other. We got Minister Music. We got Coco. We got some great family members. We got D Jules at Deep in the Heart of Texas. Um, if you guys are comfortable with me making a shout-out video for the members, please let me know because YouTube, if you get members, they really will love you to do a shout-out video for your members. And um, so I'm going to be doing like multiple videos, okay? So per team, I'm going to do different videos, okay? That's the only way I can do it. Um, I don't want to make it a extremely long video. So I do want to do, um, if you guys are comfortable with it, um, if you say you're not comfortable, just say, you, if you don't have to say I'm comfortable. If you, Just say I'm not comfortable. That's all you have to say. If you're not comfortable, say that. Because I, it's going to be like a ton of I'm comfortable. So if you guys are uncomfortable, it's just going to it's going to be a shot up video to you. And that means people are going to know who you are, you know. So it's going to be a win win. I'll get a video shot and I'll get my homework done for YouTube. And they'll say, OK, you did good. Shout out your members. And then it'll be also go subscribe to these awesome members, you know, where people are like, oh, I didn't know about this channel. What? So it'll be that, too. So we'll all, it'll be win win. And OK, we love you. Two minutes of music. God's girl says I had these those. I had those days a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love y'all. You said I'm not a major or a member. Can someone drop a link? Yes. Can someone please drop Dina's link? Because she's needs some loving over there at her channel. Okay. All righty. Let me see. CJ saying hi to Minister Music. There goes my husband. Hey, husband. Hey, Sticky. Come on in. How you doing? Guys, we got some good family. Remember to drop your links. 
remember just connect with each other you guys are okay you don't mind you're doing shadows all right thanks dina i appreciate that okay let me see you need some water with your coffee yes exactly froggy's in, get out of here froggy when a knitting is in the building good morning good morning nana sands good morning husband i love you good morning pam good morning heather guys y'all are amazing good morning miss ophelia miss ophelia did you get to see um how to do that stitch um, I, I just got done releasing a new pattern. And so um, a lot of you have bought the pattern. A lot of you got it for free. And I'm so grateful. Good morning, Rachel's Place. How are you? I'm so grateful to have you guys here. You guys are the best family ever. Today, we're going to be doing some crafting. Every day, I like to do a craft or we'll talk crafts. So if we're not actually doing something hands-on, we'll talk and I'll bring a whip. And I hope you guys bring a whip or we'll talk different things. And uh, we'll talk about either packaging items or um different stitches that we like and what's our preference. We'll talk about different things and or we'll do kind of like a little, you know, it's not necessarily a tutorial because I always say it's not a tutorial because I'm not saying, oh, for this, you need this. I don't break anything down. So I do like to do where it is. I'm trying to figure out which one it starts. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to where I can be a little bit better, a little closer. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I don't know if that made it darker, it feels like. But anyways, guys, let's see. Um, Yes, my husband, and my husband said, love you, Terrence. And Froggy, how are you feeling this morning? I hope you're in the building. Froggy does have her own command as well as exclamation mark. Froggy, because Froggy's on Team Gold. And um, so let me see what everybody's doing. So um, let me see where everybody's at. I hope you guys are doing great this morning. I hope you guys are doing good. You said you haven't looked yet. Oh, my goodness, yes. Look, I, um, if you need me to do anything, like make a video or anything, Miss Ophelia, let me know. Um, oh, sorry, guys. What is that? Oh, my. Okay, sorry. Um, yes, 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 yes. Please, thank you for dropping each other's links, having a ball. Um, outside problem, Dana. Anything to help family do? Thank you, thank you so much. So, um, so how's everybody doing this morning? I see everybody's coming in. We just had our prayer. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Dana aka Triple C. I'm a crocheter of 23 years. So I thank you guys for being in the building. At this time of the year is where I usually pick up on business. Um, I'm usually making hats, beanie scarves, baby things, because there's a lot of babies being born. For baby showers, I make all kinds of beautiful sets, um, every type of character set, every type of sports set, you name it. Thank you guys for your support and purchasing items. If you would like to look at my portfolio, check me out on Instagram or Facebook under Creatively Created Crochet. Um, and I appreciate you guys for being in here today. We're going to have some fun, guys. So we're going to be playing with a little bit of something called Plarn. Now, when I say plarn, guys, I'm talking about plastic yarn, all right? Plastic yarn. So, guys, um, yes, Jules is needing some family. We got a lot of people that are going to be needing some family. And if you're on that membership, guys, remember, we'll be doing our membership wheel next week. So, for those who are having channels and you're looking for some increase over at your channels, either be subscribers, views, likes, comments, you need more um, engagement at your channel. We will be having a membership wheel for those who would like to join the membership, please come on in and join the membership you're more than welcome to so um we'll be doing that and so um you just texted you the commands thank you honey thank you oh babe did you you have the sheet oh my baby must be down my baby must be downstairs okay how you doing helen i'm so glad you're here so we're gonna play with some porn today and um we're gonna have some fun now this is not gonna be a tutorial tutorial right i'll do one um actually i have one i just have to edit it and put my put the goodies on there and it's a short tutorial, so you don't have to worry about being like, um, I'll probably get that done after we leave here just so I can have it up. So we, we'll have that for those who don't want to sit through this whole hour. Um, I'll have that tutorial up. So we're going to play with Plarn today. Um, and, oh, you're not, you said you're in bed, Law. I, I thought you were in bed. I was hoping you were because I don't want you to get up yet. I want you to kind of rest for a second. Mm. Sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Welcome into the family again. Sticky's like... Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Sticky. Welcome in. Guys, I hope y'all grab Sticky up. Please grab Sticky, Lord. Grab Sticky. He's working on that road to monetization. And I'm telling, we're going to get Sticky to get those. I keep telling Sticky that. We're going to be doing some all-nighter, Sticky. So get some get some coffee. Get something to do. Get some games. I don't care what it is. We're going to be up all night. And we're going to pull in some all-nighters. Okay, Sticky? I know you're probably saying, okay, you're telling me what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna do this sticky. We gotta get these numbers in. So we're gonna have to use some these weekends and pull some five to eight hour shifts. Just, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Hello, my cousin Angie, aka Ruby Baby. 
Good morning. How are you doing? Yes. Happy Friday. So we're going to be playing with Florin. You guys might like, what is Florin? Now, if you're a crochet or if you're not, many of you always say, okay, when you're crocheting, what are you going to use to crochet? All right. And guess what you're going to use? Yarn. Okay. Yarn. Hey, Charlie, come on in. How y'all doing? I appreciate you. Come on in. So look at this. And for those who um, message me about testing the new pattern, a new pattern will be coming out. I'm going to be testing it myself and, um, and, and making sure my math is right. Um, I'm going to be doing that today and tomorrow. Okay. And so I'm going to be sending you guys, I'm going to be sending you guys a pattern. All right. So we're going to get that pattern released next week. All right. So just come on in and um, I'm excited. So how everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I got my coffee. If you guys got your coffee, grab your coffees. We're going to play with some farm. So yarn is what we use, okay? Yarn is what we use when we're crocheting, all right? Yarn is what we use when we're using plastic bags to make yarn. Now, there's so many different things you can do with yarn. Um, it is super fun. It's durable, and it helps the environment because you're recycling these plastics instead of seeing them out in the yard, stuck in trees, in the ocean, polluting. I mean, you know, it's a good way to save, a good way to use some things. You can, people have used these to make, um, what is that what I'm saying? People have used these to, yes, you got my email. Yes, 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 I got you, cuz. I got you. Yes, 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 cuz. So that's why I said, for those who send me emails, I thank you guys. So you're going to be getting that pattern. Um, you know, I already love, you know, the people that sent me the emails, I already, I, I love your work. I know that you um, have a good following. I know, you know, and I know you can crochet. I know you can read a pattern. So, it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm excited to get these patterns released. I'm happy. You guys are the best. So um, a lot of times people, you can make the homeless mat for some people. They're making homeless mats. You're making bags. So we're going to take this to another level. Uh, I'm going to upload my video on how to do so. And then I'll start um, doing videos on the tutorials. So we're just going to have a ball with it. Um, I, after I get done with this, I'm going to get that uh, tutorial uploaded. Um, that's what my homework is for today. I actually have two tutorials. One is just about done. Yes, reduce, reuse, recycle. Yes. You're working in, okay, thank you, Charlie. Charlie's working and listening. So I'm going to get into this, baby. Let's get in and have some fun, okay? I've already got some started. Um, there's so many different things you can do, so many ways you can do it. That brings, okay, I'm going to take measure. There's so many different ways you can do farn, okay? I, what I like about farn is you're going to be able to cut your own ply. Now, when I say ply, I'm talking thickness, I'm talking width, whatever. You can eyeball it how wide you want it, all right? Um you can you can do it your way, okay? I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. Let's go. Where am I at? Where am I at? Let's see. So I'm gonna get, <laughs> you know, I gotta get hooked up, all right? It's time to get hooked up. And um, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and join my stream so that way we can get into making this barn up and having some fun. Because I know there's going to be some people who are not going to watch this live stream. So I'm, I'm going to upload the tutorial. And that way people can see exactly what the tutorial will look like. Let me see. Let me get myself into the stream. And let me make sure my volume's off. Because I always do that. I always have my volume on when I get up here. And then I always make that loud noise. <laughs> so let me get up here into my stream. Hey, Nancy. Oh, my goodness. Nancy's in the building. Welcome in. How are you? Please hit that thumbs up, guys. We got 17 in the building. You guys are amazing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let me just go ahead and turn down my volume. Lord, Lord, and more Lord. Okay, let me go ahead and invite myself. Come on. Feel free to invite yourself into the chat. And after I do so, I'm going to go ahead and Oh, look at, look at, oh my goodness, yes. Okay. That's not what I'm doing. I don't even know what I was doing. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, we're about to have some fun. You guys already have some fun. <laughs> okay, let me get into the chat. And I'll paste that link. If I can get in here, I'm, I'm stuck in watching a commercial. Okay, let me get in here like so. Let me make sure my camera's good. Okay, let me see. My camera's good. I got to rotate it right. 
All right, got to rotate it, and I'm going to mute my mic. The water bottles out of the way. Let's see my, a little bit of my stockpile over there for my couponing, which is my shampoos and some razors. I love my shampoos and my razors. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, what am I sitting? There's something on here. Long cube. Something under here. What is it? Good morning, everybody. Come on in. Okay, guys. Come on in, guys. We appreciate y'all being in the building. Hey, Gail, how are you feeling? I'm so happy. It's not that often I have them, but I make crochet trees out of the plastic rings. What? Oh, I like those. I always wanted to do you working and lurking. All right. Thank you for working and lurking. Um, so yeah, let me see. I got everything. All right, let's get it started then. Let's have some fun this morning. All right, let me go ahead and join myself into this chat and let's have some fun. If I can go ahead and where am I at? What is my comment? You said I love your razors all up. Yes, I got I got a few razors. A couple of bags. We have bag fulls. And um a woman at our one of um, one of our prophecies at our church, she's doing a lot of things for the community. So I'm thinking about just going ahead and just giving them out. But I'm like, I don't know if I want to give out razors. Is that weird to give out razors? I don't I don't want anybody hurting themselves or anything. Like I'm giving out sharp objects. And I don't know if we have not a sh enough shampoos to give out. Let me see. Hey, says Angie, come on in. Where is the link log? I can't find it. Oh, yeah, because I'm not supposed to be looking on my computer. I'm supposed to look it on my phone. Yep, that's one of those mornings. <laughs> All right, guys, here I am. Can you see my hands? Good morning. There we go. All right, so we're here, guys. And I'm going to be making a bigger screen so we can see what we're doing today. All right. So I got my plastic bag for those who are coming in. Come on in. We're playing with some porn this morning. I think it's essential. Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's what I was thinking too. I'm like, I feel like it's essential. I feel like people will like it, but I don't want to be like just giving out sharp objects to people, you know, because some people will be homeless. I don't want to get, I don't know what anybody, where anybody's mindset is at. I don't want to give anybody sharp objects who maybe, you know, you know, I don't, I don't I'm like, that's kind of weird, but I don't know what she's giving away. That's what I said. I'll ask her what she's going to make because she's making up like little toiletry bags for the men. They might want to go and they'll shave and things. So I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can make myself solo will be better. All right. I think it might be a little bit better for the time being. I could I could lift this up a tad bit. All right. It might be a little bit better to lift it up. So you're going to take your awesome bags. We're making porn, guys, which is plastic yarn. So feel free to come on in, the thumbs up, all those good things. Um, we're making some plastic yarn. This is going to be really fun, and it's really crafting out. You can do, every store has different color bags, right? So you can make different color yarns. You can make striped bags. You can just make, you know, multicolored. You can do it all. If you're doing this, you can actually separate your yarn, your porn, into different little, you know, Ziploc baggies or jars. You can do all that. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is grabbing our bag. And, you know, our bags usually have like a seam here on each side. So what I like to do is I actually like to stick my thumb here and uh, pull up on each side. So it's kind of like creating that crease. Like when you first get those bags, you're nicely creasing the inside here. So that's what you're wanting to do. You want that crease on each side. You want to kind of get it straightened up. And that's on each side. So you'll see this more in my tutorial. I'll break it down a little bit more. Because I'm the, tutorial, the, tutorial is, the tutorial is coming up right after this. All right. After this, I'm going to have my tutorial for this. And then you're just going to straighten out your bag. OK, now there's different ways to do it. This is just the way I do it. So don't feel like, oh, I don't do mine that way. You know, I'm not saying this is, you know, there's always more than one way to do something. So come on in. Hey, Kenny, I appreciate you. I love you guys. I love you so much. You say always ask for razors, T-shirts and socks. Thank you, Miss Ophelia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I like. I love the um, tips and the tricks. Thank you for letting me know. You know, because I'm always like, oh, I don't know. You said I, I, I write, call, email products for my family. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. I love that too. I love to get my coupon on. I love to get different things. Good morning. You said, what are we doing with the Kroger bag? We're making some plan. We're going to cut this baby up and make some yarn out of plastic. Okay. So after we got it straightened up beautifully, we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to fold it lengthwise. Okay. We're going to fold it in half. All right. Nice and nice and fold it again. 
All right. Now, if you want to fold it again for the third time, you definitely can. It, it, it's really up to you. You can fold it how many times you want. Okay. If you want to, it's, it's not going to, this does not affect um, how thin it will be. It's just a fin, it depends on how many snips you'll have. You can just, this is going to give you like a one snip ordeal. So you're going to have your, your, um, your bag. Okay. And now what I like to do is I cut off of my, I cut my handles off. Okay. So these can probably, we can try to find a way to use these babies. Um, we can try to find a way to use these babies again in the future. All right, possibly, but just cut off your handles, okay? You might be able to find something to do with them, all right? There's something you probably can do with them. So put those aside, and then you want to cut your seam, all right? You can cut your seam off. I just like to cut that off because it's in the way. Get that out of the way because we're gonna, it's going to make it, you know, a little annoying. So now we're just going to go ahead and begin to snip. Now, it really depends. You can grab your um, rulers and things like that, kind of eyeball how this is where it's going to depend on how wide you want your um, how wide you want your um, yarn. All right. So you can figure it out. Me, I usually cut mine. Let me see. I know you can't see this now because I, I zoomed out, but I usually cut mine. How much? How much I usually do? Let me see. I usually do probably about an inch, about an inch or a little over an inch. All right. So let me see. I'm going to go ahead and get mine cut up and about here. And I usually get about 10 out of this. Now, some people get 12. It just depends on how, um, you know, how thick you're going to cut. Okay. So just go ahead and cut them all up. Have a ball. Now, this is something you can do while you're watching your TV, whatever else. And uh, even when you go inside the stores, make sure your bags and stuff are not sticky. That's one thing I meant to say at the beginning. Make sure your bags aren't sticky. Make sure they're really nice. You can and you grab all these up and put them aside or put them in your bag. This is my bag I use over and over again. It definitely needs to be washed. <laughs> Guess who gave me this bag? Beautiful frog. You want to knitting? I use this bag all the time. Um, so I'm sticking all mine in this bag. And um, I'm going to just get them all in here so I can be ready, okay? And so once you do have so many ready, we're going to go ahead and open them up, all right? So when we open them up, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be a loop. Yes, 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 guys. You're going to have your loops. And so what am I going to do with loops, okay? What do I do with loops? You're going to bring those babies together and make more yarn. All right, so we got two loops in the chat. <laughs> and so now we're going to bring these babies together. All right, um, and then we're going to see how they're both together like so. We're going to take the right one over the left and grab that one with the left hand like so. And grab the other with the right, just like so. We cross it over, and then we're going to wait, wait, wait. Sorry, guys, I've, I've never done this. I've never spoke it out. Sorry. Let's do this again. <laughs> okay, let's take this. I don't, I don't want to say it. Oh, yeah, there has to be a twist. Okay, so let's go. You're remember, you're going to take this over. You're gonna take your right one over, and do it like so. All right. So now we have like an X an X kind of, or a cross, an X formed, all right? And then we're going to take this bottom one and pull the root, all right? So it should look like this now. And then we're going to pull. When I do my tutorial, guys, you'll see it a lot better. It's just hard for me to do it this way. And then you'll pull and give it a nice little, little um, you know, a little snug tug. And then you're just going to keep adding all of your yarns. You're going to keep adding all your loops. Now, there's other ways to do it, guys. Um, there's lots of ways to do it because you can actually cut it into a regular strip. You can cut it into a regular strip and then you're done. So now after you have that one, I usually kind of just do it. This one, it gets a little easier now. Um, I just kind of go in here like so, taking these, and then I cross it over, and then I cross it over again, and then I pull, and then I pull, and I pull. So it's kind of just like a, it's easier to do it once you get it started. Once you get your first loop, you just go in like so, and you're going to cross it over and cross it over again, just like so. And then you're going to pull. And you're going to do that until you get as much as you want um, and have a ball with it, okay? So now once you get it done, you just wrap it up like it's regular skein, get your little ball winding on. And then you can begin to crochet, okay? So you can make it as big as you want. Again, I'm thinking about going to Walmart tonight because I know they have the gray bags, and I want to have some fun. Um, and you can do whatever you want. It is so amazing. You can do whatever you want, guys. 
um, and you can figure out how thin you want to do it. So if you cut it really thin, if you cut it even thinner than this, you can like you creating different size of yarns. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to zoom back down again so you guys can see a little bit closer. Okay. I'm using a hook made by my husband. This is a scrap hook, guys. So it's um, there's like scrap colors in here. He's like, oh, honey, I, I made a scrap color and I like it. I do like it a lot. It's a 10 millimeter hook. Um, I'm going to see what happens. We'll have some fun. You seen the beach mat made with them? Wow. Yes. You can make all these different things with them. I'm going to be doing a couple of tutorials on different ones. So you'll just go ahead and begin like you're doing any yarn, right? Yarning over. And this is how I do my slip stitch, guys. So don't just bear with me. Okay. <laughs> this is the way I do mine. I'm hoping that this 10 millimeter will be big enough. I was thinking about grabbing my hook, my, um, like my Q or my, what's it called? My Q or my P. But I wanted to advertise my hubby's hooks because I love them. And also, those Qs and Ps are plastic. I don't like the way they look. They're not so pretty. Um, are there any metal Ps or Qs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they want to make it so heavy. I think the hooks are so big, they had to make them plastic because, you know, because they're so big. So you just go ahead and chain up. And I don't know what I'm going to make with this guy. I have no idea. But I'm just wanting to work with it. That's my main thing. I wanted to work with it really quick and see if it's really good to work with. It's really easy. Oh my goodness, so far, so good. Um, I'm not having any issues with it, but this is gonna be nice. I think this is actually gonna be really, really nice, guys. I think this is gonna be nice. And like I said, like Carla said, you can make your beach mats, you can make whatever you want. Um, just have a ball with it. You can make whatever you wanna do with this. I, oops, sorry guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. Um, you can de definitely make um, bags. You can make cup cozies. I'm going to have a tutorial for these different things for those who are interested. Um, but I definitely want to make some market bags. All right, guys. I definitely want to do that. So you just make your chain. It's the same exact thing. This is going to be super fun. I'm loving it. You can go back and do your single crochets, however you want to do it, guys. You can go on your back humps and do your single crochet or all the way down. I'm just kind of curious to see how it works up, guys. I'm going to make more barn. Um, and there's different ways that you can make your farm. You can make like big bunches of farm too. He's making a reusable shopping bag with mine. Yes, exactly. That's what I want to do too. I want to make a reusable shopping bag with mine too. Um, and I know you can make it, you can cut it in multiple, you can cut multiple sheets at once too, guys. Um, I just haven't really did it that often and I don't, I didn't want to do it here. Let me see what everybody's saying. Okay. Let's see what everybody's saying. I'm not a very good lurker. I know you're, it's just hard. Like when you get into those good chats, it's so hard. That's why I said with me, I, if I just have to like, really like, like turn your volume down and like, uh, or, you know, sit the computer or phone somewhere else. <laughs> it's so hard for me to lurk. It really, truly, truly is. But sometimes we have to lurk if we're content creators, we're creating content videos and pattern making. And we have to lurk even though we don't want to. So this is what I have so far, a little bit of a single crochet. And so far, it's going to be good. I like the way it feels. Um, I like the way it looks. Look at the neat stitching. Um, so I think that's going to be easy to get into and work in. So let's go ahead and make some more while we're sitting here. We don't have anything to do. <laughs> I'm going to make some more. Guys, I have a nice amount that I've already got cut up. Guys. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting this baby up and having some fun. I'll probably even do this at the bowl. Now, this is things that you can even do where you're sitting anywhere, guys. You can do this everywhere you go and um, <laughs> have a ball. I got a yarn this i have to ball that one up um as you can see this one is a little thinner um this is my like first trial i kind of made this really thin um the thing i do like that is kind of like a double thickness so it kind of helps out but i still made these straps thin and you can even make them look where you can um hey telling it like it is come on in y'all how y'all doing welcome in please hit the thumbs up as you guys come in the chat we're just crocheting and having some fun thank you for the love I thank y'all for the love for the hook my husband is um he had some orders and some things to send out and some people, um, like, Sis Carla, did you get your earrings? I know we were talking about that, and I didn't know what was going on. Um, I know everybody got theirs from the beginning. Only person who didn't send me their address was um, Natural Way of Coty. She didn't send me her address, I think. And, but everybody else got theirs. I know Miss Charlie got hers. I'm a Nate Tay. There's a lot of everybody who got theirs. But um, Miss Sis Carla, I don't know if you got yours or not. And uh, Natural Way did not get hers. So those are going to be people from that very beginning. Um, who never got theirs, and then I'm going to be Joe's. Going, we're doing stocking stuffers, so if you don't have, we don't have your address. Send your address, guys. Um, I know a lot of our members sent their address. Thank you, members, for sending your addresses, guys. 
because we're doing some stocking stuff work, all right? We want to show some love to those who have been um, keeping us going, guys. So we're just going to cross it over, and we're just going to keep on. I guess, Can I do that from the beginning? I'm going to make sure I have that in my tutorial. I might have to edit that out. Let me see. <laughs> I want to make it easy. Let me see. Cross it over and cross it over again. I like that method a little bit. We're going to cross it over. I think that's going to be good for a tutorial. Cross it over and cross it over again. And pull. Wait, did it work? Okay. Okay, that didn't work. Cross it over and cross it over again. I don't think that's going to work for the first one. No, it won't. It won't work for the first one. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't think it's going to work for the first one. You have to do a twist in the beginning. And after that, you can go ahead. Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm loving this. You said lurk, but I pop head up and blurt. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's how I am, too. I can't lurk, though. I can't. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey, Divine Official, come on in. I appreciate you so much. You say you make a big ball? Yes, make it into a big ball. That's what I'm going to be doing, too. I just wanted to I just wanted to crochet it so badly. Y'all know how it's like when you just want to crochet something really badly. You're just like, I don't want to do it now. I don't want to wait. And that's what I got myself into. I got myself into wanting to do it really quick and... <laughs> I want that right now thing. Come on in, hit the thumbs up. I'm so glad that you're in a building, Divine Official. I'm not sure if you're new here, but I'm Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome into the Triple C and Joe show. If you need your link dropped, feel free to type the letter CC in the chat, meaning that you're a um, content creator. Today, we're just playing with a bit of porn and having some fun. And uh, we're just going to crochet a little bit of it and make it into a big old ball. And um, I'm going to take the camera off of me, I mean, off of my hands in a second, guys. And uh, I'm just excited. I just want to play with this a little bit. Well, we can crochet and chat a little bit. I hope you guys are going to be having some good weekends. Hope you have something planned to do for your weekend, guys, okay? Let me see. I'm going to get into the chat. Guys, if you, um, okay, so you never got them. Wow, okay. All right, sis Carla. I'm, I'm so sorry. You, I think you're the only person besides um, Natural Way who didn't get hers. Okay. No worries. Uh. You said Wi-Fi seemed to have it calmed down. Oh, get out of here. I'm happy to hear that, Dina. You still working, Rachel? Thank you so much for being here. Host, you got skills. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Tell them like it is. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me see. Um, yes, your mom had a great, uh, Sister Jane had a great birthday. I'm so happy that she did. Guys, if I didn't see that birthday stream, come on. Is it no joke? We have 100 bags folded from the different stores. What? Get out of here. So let me go ahead and take this off of here. Let me see if I can do this better. <laughs> hey <laughs> um but yes guys um i want to get me some different yarn what's it called i want to get me some different um bags so like i said tomorrow, tonight i'm going to try to get to walmart um after bowling because you know it's a bowling night guys i'm going to try to get to walmart after bowling and then um i'll be able to work on um some different colors maybe i'll be able to separate them you know i'm going to separate them into different colors and you know, have a ball. Some bags, some grocery store bags are a lot more durable. I don't know if you guys experienced that, but I've had some uh, grocery store bags that um, are, you know, not the best. Some that you can use and use again. I don't know if y'all have seen that before, but there's some that you're like, I, don't, I, I recycle them because they're actually really nice bags. But yeah, so I'm, oh wow, I'm getting some nice, good, I'm getting some good yarn made up here. Uh, let me see what everybody's saying. I appreciate you guys for being here. Has anybody got anything going on for y'all weekends? Can't hear me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Y'all can't hear me? Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys are, can't hear me or not. Jules cannot hear me. Since there ain't a few stores around here have a have black bags. Get out of here. Wow. That would be nice to have some black bags. I mean, I know I've seen them at hair stores, but I know I would never shop make them. <laughs> but I don't, some of my hair stores actually have... Okay, you hear me? Okay, thank you. I'm not sure why Jules can't hear me. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe she's looking at that um, mute sign and she's thinking maybe I have my mute on. And let me see. Miss Ophelia says, I'm going to have to do this. Yes, it'll be interesting to use bags. Yes, different colors. Exactly. I think it's going to be super fun, y'all. Let's try it. I mean, I think it'll be fun to try and have some fun with it, guys. I truly, truly think so. And that's what I'm excited to do. I'm excited to make these up. And tonight I'll probably be doing it on my live stream, playing with it, and you can see how big this ball gets. <laughs> Cause I'm going to have a tutorial on it, how to cut it. Um, and then I have a tutorial on how to make different things. Some of you already have made this, so you already know, but it's going to be really fun for those who have never, 
you know, made it. So that's what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to get that video done so we can have some more videos and tutorials. She said, I'm sorry I missed your birthday. Um, we were doing out food all week at church, and it's been crazy. Really? Oh, yeah. If you would like to watch that video again, feel free to watch it. It was, it was really nice. Sis Jane got to come up and have a good time. She shared some heirlooms, guys. She shared heirlooms. I know. Look at me, guys. It's like all kind of print going on. We got the purples and whites and the pinks. <laughs> but um, she got to come up and share heirlooms. And guys, guess what? She even got a project done. You guys got to check out that video. She even got a project done. She's been tricking us, tricking us, tricking us, tricking us, watching tons of tutorials. Guess what she learned? Yes, yeah, she did. She learned how to crochet, guys. Yes, she did. Did she show her face? Oh, you got to go watch and see. You got to go watch and see. I'm going to be honest. Um, you got to watch this show and see if she came up and showed her face or not. Oh, never mind. Guys, girl, spoiled it. Yes, yeah, she did. She came up. She showed her face. And, and it, she blew out her candles. We had cake. She blew out her candles. She came in and showed her goodies. I mean, it was fun. Very, very fun. She's um she's not a, she's not a content creator. She's a big supporter. She's a big moderator. She keeps things going for people's channels. So her and her face, um, she doesn't really have to show her face just because she doesn't really want to. She's not really into that. You know, some people do not want to show their face. And I always tell people, don't let that limit you to be a channel creator or content creator. She's not really, she'll do content for those who, you know, who kind of challenge her to do stuff. She'll do that. But for the most part, that's not what she's interested in. So um, I definitely understand. I understand what it's like to not want to push somebody to do certain things. Um, like even Sandrine, I love Sandrine. She's a great crochet. She makes so many beautiful things, but she just really doesn't want to do a channel. She just would rather make patterns, sell patterns, be a designer. And I'm like, Kudos to you. So, but Sis Jane is not a camera person, and she came up and <laughs> came up. It was such a great time. We sung happy birthday. People were able to be a blessing to her. It was it was fun. It was and uh it was fun. So Nancy says, I reuse my bags to clean a cat box. Oh, I don't have a cat, so I guess that'll be good for those who have the cats, guys. Have the cat. Oh, you babysitting the twins. How old are the twins now? Oh my goodness. Nancy said, My son has a channel. And doesn't show his face. See, exactly. You got to show, like, a lot of people have channels that don't show their face. And it, they really actually are pretty successful for those who actually want to have them, you know, channels. And Dina says, I'll be making potato salad, macaroni salad, and a potato recipe off the Lipton onion soup. What? And there's 10 of us plus a close friend. So I have to make five pounds. Oh, my. Yeah, you got some work to do. Love, love. <laughs> the potato cutting. Um, my husband is really good at doing potatoes. He has so many, he has so much patience when it comes to that, y'all. I have no idea how he does it. Coco says, I'm sure I'm not the only one with a plastic, giant plastic bag full of other, yes, that's me. That is me. I am that one as well. <laughs> I am that one as well. You said, I will still watch. Okay, yes, thank you. You're still going to watch it? Yeah, you're going to love it. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You going it, it was really it's worth rewatching. Hey brother, Brian's in the building at Be Ready Today. How you doing? You can't stay long. Well, I appreciate you for being here, guys. I hope you have Be Ready Today. He's amazing, guys. He loves God. He has awesome streams where he does awesome live streams. Uh, it is such a good stream over there. I hope you guys go be part of his family. I thank you for being here as well. Thank you for hitting a thumbs up. Y'all making me hungry talking about food. Oh my goodness, I know. I was recognized by one of my viewers in Walmart about. Oh my goodness, get out of here. Um, we my, well, Joe was recognized one day. I wasn't with him. He was recognized by one of our viewers, and he was like, "What?" Like, but he didn't know who the viewer was. I knew who the viewer was. Um, it was actually the spouse of one of our viewers, and um, he was recognized in the store. And he was like, "Babe, babe," <laughs> he was like, "Babe," he, this man came up to me and he was like, "Oh my goodness, you're Joe and you, you, Triple C, right?" Oh my goodness, it was so crazy. He was like, Yeah, <laughs> but it was just, it was amazing because I mean, he was like, Babe, but this is, um, you know, it was before I don't know, it was before the masks were required, um, at that time because he like literally came in, hugged my husband, and all that good stuff. So it was like really crazy, but it was good, it was fun, it's like amazing, right? And Jules says, I'm making mini meatloaves, Lord, 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 you're gonna freeze for later. I've never frozen meatloaves. We don't ever, well, I guess I never made enough to freeze. I guess we always make a nice amount and then the kids eat them. He said, I feel like a celebrity law. Did you, honey? <laughs> oh my goodness. It is amazing. It is amazing when people notice you. You're actually watching your videos and you don't even know. And they see you in a store or see you somewhere. 
You have no idea. That's why I say you have no idea who's watching you. So I always try to make my content as positive as possible so that way it'll be able to reach tons of different people. I don't want my content to be for one type of people. I never want that. And um, I want my content to be for everybody. I want everybody to be able to come in and get some love. Uh, I don't want it to be a judgment zone. I don't want it to be talking about controversial items. I want none of that. I want positivity. I want love. And most of all, I want crafts. <laughs> I, I got to have my crafts. They're four months old. Oh, my goodness, Gil. Oh, I bet they are adorable. Good morning, Mama J-Way. Okay, Mama J-Way, you know I love messing with you every time you come in, right? Because I because I always think about what I want to tell you when you when you leave. Every time you leave, Mama J-Way, I always think about what I want to say to you when you leave. Guys, I hope you have Mama J Way. Guys, you know how to grab each other. You guys know this. I don't. I don't have to sound like a broken record, right? Okay. So, Froggy, you gotta get out of here. Okay, we love you, Froggy. Have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. I got tons of porn. I got porn building. <laughs> I hope it doesn't tangle up like real yarn, y'all. I have no idea because I'm over here just having a ball with it. So yes, Mama J Way. Um, I gotta tell you something. When, when would you, I know you're going to be testing patterns and I know you're busy. I don't understand anything. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, brother. Brian, I'm about to pass out. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Thank you so much. Wow. Look at, thank you so much, brother Brian. Guys, I hope I have him. Like I said, he's an awesome channel to have. Awesome channel to have. And um, I'm just, I'm grateful to have him in our family and I'm grateful to be a part of his family because I went over there over the weekend and it was just so much knowledge and love in the chat. I was like, what is going on? And I, I, I didn't, I didn't leave at all. It was a nice long stream. I didn't leave until we had to go on and uh, no, we didn't go on. We never go on. Was that Saturday? Was that Friday? Was it, it was, was, what day was that? Was that Monday? Was that Sunday? Was it Tuesday? I believe it was Tuesday. And um, because it was just after Kelly went live. Yes, it was after Tuesday. We went to Kelly's and then we had to go live. But I stayed on until we had to go on. It was amazing. Thank you so much, Brother Brian. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you so much, guys, girl, for dropping that link. Oh, my goodness. Yes, he's on that membership team, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, please email. If you can email me your address again, I'm asking everybody to please email me again. If you haven't emailed me in a long time, um, I get a lot of emails daily, and um, I'm going to be creating an email list. I'm creating a new email, and it's going to be VIP only. And I'm um, so I'm going to be creating that, and there's going to be an uh, email list of different things. Okay. Thank you, Jules, for dropping your link. Yes, he said. I think I make I'll make a meatloaf as well. What your sister's working will also make sides. Oh my goodness, it's going to be amazing. So, are you guys doing anything for the weekend? Literally, he ran up to me loud as possible. OMG. You Joe from Triple C and Joe, bro. Then he hugged me. <laughs> Babe, is that what he did? Oh my goodness, honey. He did not run up to you like that. Did he run up to you like that? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So yes, I can't wait to do this. See, this is one I did not cut the seam off of. And so I guess I would have to go in and like snip it now. Because I didn't cut the seam off from the beginning. So that's why I would say cut the seams off in the beginning. And that way it'll create a loop. And you don't have to worry about it um, getting in your way. All right. Getting in that way, cutting that seam or snipping it down the middle. Either way, it'll work. <laughs> Either way, it will work, guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I got it right here. And then we'll cross it over and cross it over again. Look at that, guys. Love it. No, we're back on restrict. Oh, my God, you're back on restrict. I'm so sorry. We usually have 20 to 30 people and have enough of 50. Oh, I like that. I have. We do that, too. You know what, Dina? We usually have enough of 50 to 60 people, and we have 5 to 10 people. How does that work, Dina? We have enough food for 50 to 60 people, and we only get to 5 to 10. We used to get about 20, and then everybody started cooking themselves. Everybody started being, you know, because it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to travel with food. And so we were, all of our families had families, had families. That was like that, right? So if we invited my sister, my sister-in-law, right? She would invite her children, which is our nieces and nephews. And then they would have families and things of that sort. So everybody had families. So my sister-in-law was like, you know what? It's better for me to just do it at home myself instead of me. You know, it's just too hard for me to, she's bringing stuff for her side of the family as well. But it was, it's fun because we all can come together. 
but it's just hard for us to travel. So we just decided if we do do it at each other's houses, we'll just supply all the food so we don't have to travel with anything unless you want to make a special dish or dessert or bring some drinks and ice and things of that sort. It'll make it easy. But the extras, we began starting feeding the neighborhood. We started having so much food. Um, we started bringing so much food, y'all, to the point where we was knocking our neighbor's door and, and handing them plates out. And uh, not, I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it like, oh, we're no, I'm saying it. We had that much food, guys. And it was getting to the point like, wow, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? So we had to like really cut back. And it was it's the hardest thing to cut back, like put stuff in small, small um, pans. Like it looks weird to put stuff in small pans. It's like, what is this? Like you go to the store and you buy aluminum pan, you buy the big pan. You're not buying these little bitties. But that's all we that's all we were having. We were buying two hams, two turkeys. It was just like we used to have that though. One year, one year we needed that though. Um, shout out to my brother. He came in a building and we had ham. Okay. And uh, we only had one ham. The man came over and basically took doggy bags to go, like he was maybe feeding a basketball or football team. He had multiple, we ended up having, that year we had containers. I, we were actually um, having dinners and things. So we were having the styrofoam containers. The men took home about 20 to 30 containers. I'm not even exaggerating because we had so much food and the containers only have what, three spots. It was like one spot here and two here. We only had like the Dollar Tree ones. He literally had four containers filled with ham. I'm like, can we get some ham? Joe was automatically looking at me. Joe gives me that look. I don't know who your spouse or anybody in the family gives you that look when people get too many plates. Have y'all ever had that? You get to going in and you're like, you're kind of like putting stuff up and you're like, oh, okay, what you got there? Oh, really? Okay, yeah, because we haven't eaten yet. And a lot of times me and Joe don't eat because we always, we've been cooking. So we don't eat until the last minute. So we're just like, oh, okay, you still making up plates? Oh, who are you making that for? And we're putting plates, you just putting foil over everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this up because we didn't even eat none of this yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got that? Let me take that. Yeah, you need okay. And I'm telling you guys, we do the same exact thing because which we we don't mind everybody getting a little something, but sometimes, you know, I don't understand people love the good food. You know, sometimes we don't eat that, you know, all the time. But it's just like, look at Joe said, Lord help me lot. But you know, and then I have a brother, which I love him. Shout out to you, brother, who will um <laughs> what he will do is he will um he won't come for the holidays, right? He will wait till two or three days later and say, Hey, can I come get a plate? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, you want to come get it? Thank you for everybody that's coming in. I know everybody has got here. I believe Lady C may be on, Mr. Music may be on, guys. Um Froggy, I believe Froggy is going to be live, guys. So feel free to grab each other up and check each other out, see how each other if you like each other's channels. Um, I'm just going to go. I have a little snack here. I'm going to go. You say, we, yeah, we let our guests take food. That's one thing. We definitely let our guests take food. But um, when you're making tons of it, when you're not saving anything for the host, we always let our guests take food. Always. We have, like I said, we have enough to feed the neighbors. We have enough to feed the neighbors. After our guests leave and take food, we have enough to take the neighbor. But it's another one thing when you're taking food and another thing when you're taking food. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just keep rolling up my ball because I'm that's what I'm doing. You said our our kid, we, our guests with kids, we let take two or three days of food. Yes, well, there's nothing wrong with doing that, Dina. But you, yeah, Dina, we, you, yeah, yeah, Dina, you gotta know what I'm saying. I, I need to do a video so you can know what I'm saying. <laughs> what about the guests who don't have any kids, Dina? <laughs> We're taking three days of words of food. <laughs> Dina. We gotta talk about those who don't have any children. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, Lady C just went live. I'm not sure if um everybody else has went live, guys. Oh my goodness. But yes, I'm excited for the holidays. I'm not eating any meat. A lot of you know that already. I'm excited to I'm ready to eat though. Even though I'm not eating any meat. My husband is doing a really good job making me meatless dishes, and he is doing a great job. And it's actually like honing his culinary craft with it. Which is amazing. Oh my goodness. I gotta go check on somebody. Speaking of culinary, I gotta go check on somebody. Wow. Okay. So that's what I gotta do to after this. I'm gonna go do some checking on some family. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this tutorial uploaded. All right. Let me see. Let me get myself off of here. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back.
Oh my goodness, Coco Utino. Coco, I love my Coco. Coco, why'd you say why'd you say it when we when everybody was in the building? But we gotta remember that, Coco. When everybody's in the building, you still say it. Everybody, if you don't have Coco, she's at cocktails and crochet with Coco. This woman is a designer. She's made beautiful pieces. Uh, many of you seen her piece that I made. Um, I was able to test her pattern and uh, I put it on Instagram. It's a beautiful cow. I don't have it up here. I mean, down here is upstairs and it's so gorgeous. Please go subscribe to our channel. Um, we love you, Kenny. Thank you. Have a great day. Everybody, you have a beautiful weekend. Who's getting out of here? Uh, I'm going to get out of here soon as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, sis Carl. Yes, um, Coco just had a birthday and she was able to celebrate with everybody by giving out goodies. Oh, I'm so sorry, Coco. No, I'm not saying, you know, I wasn't saying it like that. But I was saying, if, when, as soon as you get in the building, Coco, drop that link like it's hot. Drop your command. Let everybody know. Grab me up. You are on that membership team. Drop that drop that baby. Remember we talked about this last night. We all about that self-promotion over here at the Triple C and Joe Show. So, yes, we appreciate you. Um, Sis Carter, I don't think Sis Carter has any content on them, believe. I'm not sure. Are you doing it? Sis Carter, are you doing some content? Because I'm not sure. If you are, let me know. Because I don't like Sis... Um, Miss Charlie B is doing content now. Shelby's doing content now. Even Sheila may be doing something when she gets back in that building. We're going to be praying for Sheila, guys. Sheila Thompson, many of you know Sheila. She's always been around, showing so much love and support. Let's keep her lifted up in prayer for her family who's been experiencing loss in her health as well, okay? We're going to lift her up in prayer. She's super amazing. It's okay because there are a thousand Carter Black. Oh, okay, yes. You don't know yet? Okay, so she doesn't know yet, guys. But the minute she does do her content, We'll, it'll be easy, it'll be easier for us to actually subscribe to her because we'll see her page better. YouTube will let us see her page better because she'll have videos and things. And then she can drop her own link and then it'll make it easier. Yes, guys. Have a beautiful day, Donna. Have a beautiful Ooh. weekend, guys. I'm going to be doing a late night stream again tonight. Me and my husband will do it together. He's probably going to be doing some hook making and things of that sort because there's some people that have been ordering hooks. Um, so thank you for that, guys. And those who are on that membership team, guys, you already know. Thank you for sending the emails with your addresses so that way you guys can get some of those um, members um, stocking stuffers. And uh, I've got some tutorials to do. So I'm going to go and shoot this tutorial and get this baby uploaded for you guys. For those who do not want to sit through this awesome live stream and you want to get straight to the pond. I love you guys. I thank you guys for hanging in. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I will be back later on tonight. And uh, I appreciate you guys for that love and support. It's been awesome. I hope you guys got to see how to play with some plarn. And uh, we'll get into some more later on. I'll probably try to work on a bag or something. And uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, love ya. Have a great day, guys. Have a great, awesome weekend. It's been awesome. I love these craft hours with Triple C.